share with you things I've been loving recently. So, skincare. The first thing is this pyrotic biodegenerate oil. I know lots of people over the YouTube community have been loving this for ages, but uh, it's a little slow to the pot. But now that I've been using it, it's absolutely amazing. Combining it with um, my face serum at night, just mixing in a couple of drops of the face serum, and it's seriously one of those things that you wake up the next morning going, oh my god, what has happened to my skin? It's amazing, like glowy and just absolutely beautiful. If you're anything like me and just haven't really gotten along with face primers that much, I don't know, I was just never really into them because I always felt made my face feel really slick and sticky and I felt like my foundations didn't really go over them properly. I don't know, maybe it's just my skin type or something. So for a long, long time, I was just boycotting, boycotting face primers until I tried the professional for benefit. And yes, this has been around for ages. There's been hype for it. There's been there has been hype over it for ages, and I'm just didn't get into it until recently. And then, but then once I tried it, seriously changed my whole primer world. It just smooths everything out so well without being like slick and making things slide around and yeah absolutely loving it nowadays don't like yeah I barely ever even use foundation without using this first changed my foundation life and speaking of foundation life I do have a fantastic foundation to share with you um, I picked this up a couple of months ago when I was in LA at Sephora where I don't even go there, I went absolutely crazy in there, it was ridiculous. But um, I needed a new foundation because I'd been on holidays and my skin had gotten a bit darker and I had an event coming up when I was coming back home. I needed to pick up a new foundation, so I went in there, asked them to recommend me something and they have this really cool instrument that they just like stick it on your forehead and it like reads your skin and something and tells you what kind of colour it is. Anyway, it's really cool, never seen it before. And they recommended this Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation to me. So, and yeah, this is beautiful. Like, I have kind of normal to dry skin. So I was looking for something not matte that wouldn't dry out my skin. Um, and yeah, this is just beautiful. It's like, it just looks so natural, which is what I like. I like something looking really natural and you just put it on with a beauty blender. It's amazing. It just looks like your skin, but just flawless. It's gorgeous. The next thing I have is an eyeshadow. So it's one of the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 hour cream eyeshadow things in, what is this in? It is in Tough as Taupe. And so it's like a matte color rather than a shimmery one. And I find this is the perfect everyday kind of slap it on. Just using your finger easily blends and just, yeah, just adds a little bit of dimension to your eyes, which is great when you're running out of time. But this is actually something I've had for a little while now, um, but just, I don't know why, just sort of was even sitting in my collection and I just been neglecting it for a while. Recently I pulled it out and just fell in love. So it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Charisma. I'm wearing it today and it's it's just this really gorgeous natural flush. I think the thing that turned me off it originally is that it looked like it had quite some um, sort of chunky shimmer in it. You probably can't really see it, which I don't really like. But then when you put it on, it just gives you this really nice glow, doesn't look glittery at all, just a nice flushed glow and it's beautiful for a natural everyday look. And the last thing I have to share with you today is a perfume. So this is the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea and Yuzu perfume and oh, I don't think I've ever found something I love so much. I've been wearing it every single day. It's like just something really fresh about it but yet yeah, fresh but there's dimension to it with like I don't even know it's a little bit I think it's the yuzu that makes it just a little bit zingy but it's still got a real sophistication and grown up it makes me feel like a fresh funky grown up 
when I'm wearing this if that even makes sense. But apparently that's how I like to smell. So Elizabeth Barton Green Tea and Yuzu. They've got a whole line of these green tea perfumes, but yeah, the Yuzu is definitely my favorite. So that's a quick rundown of some of the beauty products I've been absolutely loving recently. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel down below. Um, and if you have any comments on other videos you'd like to see, maybe some reviews of any of these products, or anything else that you'd like to see just leave me a comment below and I'll do the best I can really anyway for now have fun and goodbye I don't wanna and stay I also I couldn't not go a bit nuts in the Sasa Supreme oh, no. store so then this happened mm, yep yeah, bag bigger than my head